Hello, and welcome again to another exciting episode of Let's Talk to Alex. We have Alex here, and he's coming to the show today to talk about the controversial subject of dinosaurs. Alex, uh, what is your name for the record? My name is Alexander, middle name and last name Okay, Alex, and how old are you? Eight. And what, uh, what grade does that put you in? Second. Second grade? Gotcha. Yes. Okay. What, um, explain to us how do you get fossils? First, let me interrupt you. Did you draw that drawing up there? This one? Yes. Yes. That's a pretty amazing drawing, just want to say. Thanks. You're welcome. So, how did you, how do we come to get fossils? A dinosaur, how you get a dinosaur fossil is a dinosaur will eventually get sick and tired of walking. We'll get really sick and fall over. And then they'll die. And then a few months, it'll take a few months for its skin to rot and disappear or get eaten by another dinosaur. And after that, all there will be left is bones. The bones will sink into the sand or the dirt and then get keep covering up by piles and piles of dirt. And then after that, it'll, some water might flow, it might rain. And then after it rains, it'll make all of it hard or liquidy. And after that, it'll be like a rock. And how that fossil will be a rock is it'll get all bunched together with dirt, sand, or whatever you want or whatever you call clay or anything. And then it'll eventually turn into a big rock of a fossil. And then you have a fossil. Okay. Now, we talked earlier about saber-toothed tigers. Yes. Um, what is a saber-toothed tiger? A saber-toothed tiger is... A type of animal with really long teeth, two really long teeth, they're about all the way down to here on it. Or down to his jawline. Yes. Can you show me again? All the way down to here. To, to his neck now? Yes. Okay, to make sure. And if he goes to get his prey, he'll eventually have to see it. If the prey does not see him, he'll run after it, jump on it. Now, so, sorry, let me, let me interrupt you there. How do you know about all these saber tooth tiger uh, stories or, or, or facts, uh, bits of information? Um, what is your field of study? We are studying on fossils and how they form. Okay, uh, and you specialize in, in this study? Uh, right now we have been watching this one movie about everything, uh, fossils, and this, there's this one video where the saber-toothed tiger, and the reason how they became fossils is this big black liquid. And then one day he was shooting at some food and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil that is, black gold, Texas tea. That was really sticky. Now you're explaining this big black liquid that was sticky. And who created this big black liquid? People from way back then. Way back then. Now how, how long ago are we talking? Uh, 1,000 years ago. 1,000 years ago. So, uh, approximately uh, the year 1,016. Yes. Do you know what other um, what other uh, historical events went on uh, the year 1,016? We haven't learned yet, but soon we will. We is in the... Uh, the class. The class. So, your class, not the uh, human population in general. They have known both. Us as a class have not figured it out yet, 
but we're working on it. Sounds like a puzzle. Uh, okay, so what? Uh, so about the year one thousand and sixteen. Yes. Um, we have saber tooth tigers. Yes. Uh, humans of the time created black sticky liquid. Yes. Uh, to capture the saber tooth tigers. Yes, and the reason they were capturing them is to kill them for whatever reason. Kill them. Okay. Uh, and and. What uh, evidence do we have of these humans, of the black sticky liquid, uh, of the saber tigers being even being around at that time? Um, we don't know yet. Us as a class haven't figured that out either. Okay. But we're working on it. Still. Working on it, sure. Uh, it, I'm, I'm sure that's a pretty intense study that you're working on. Yeah. Can you explain this video? And you did say that there were Indians on this video as well. Yes. Okay. Can you explain the Indians and... Um, Saber-toothed tigers? The saber tigers. The relationship that they had. Uh, what, what exactly you saw in the video um, so, to prove its historical uh, fact, sureness. In the beginning, there is, it was, we read that it said that this, that this is a real Can I interrupt thing. you for one quick second? Yeah. Do you know that you're a really fidgety kid? Um, before I go on, can I go to the bathroom real quick? So there we have our first um, piece of the interview. As you can tell, uh, Alex seems to be very well educated on the topic of saber tooth tigers and, and fossils and historical um, people of a thousand years ago. I am really anxious to know more. Uh, we had at length um, a discussion regarding this same topic. He said, hey dad. I said, hey Alex. He said, do you know uh, where fossils come from? I, I do. And he says, well, tell me. I'm like, well, no, I, I believe that you're the uh, first grader, uh, eight years old. Why don't you inform me? So, okay, Alex is back, and we're going to pick up our interview with uh, Mr. Alex. Um, okay, so continuing on about the saber tooth tigers um, and the black sticky liquid and the Indians. Um... What else would you like to add? Well, before we got to the Indian part, it, it all happened when the saber tooth tigers were just sleeping or walking around finding meat. Then the Indians came up to the hill, saw them, right, digging in their prey. So when the Indians saw them, saber tooth thing, tigers saw the Indians. Now, how many are we talking about? How many Indians? How many saber tooth tigers? Um, about three or four Indians, saber tooth tigers. As many as I could count was sixteen. So sixteen of them, uh, and th and this was in a video, correct? Yes. And so sixteen. Would you say that encompassed um, a pretty good percentage of the saber tooth tigers, or was there more around the world? Uh, how many do you think there were all together? Well, if I would count all the saber tooth tigers in the world. There'd probably be over a hundred. Now this is a thousand years ago, correct? Yes. And how many uh, are there today? Zero. Zero. Okay. And why is that? Because they all died from the black liquidy liquid. So the the how, how many said a couple hundred uh, tigers? Yeah. So if we're gonna uh, so a couple hundred tigers and they all died from the black liquid that you're talking about here. But now in this story in this video here. Uh, you only saw about 16 of them. Yes. Okay, uh, And then more and more and more. M more and more and more what? Saber tooth tigers. We kept seeing all different ones, and all of them kept coming back and back, and then finally we all saw every single one, and I tried to count them before it went on, and before I counted 100, I was way over 100. Okay, way over 100. Okay, gotcha. Up to a Almost a thousand. Wow, that's a lot of saber tooth tigers. Okay, so uh, continue. They were uh, stuck in a. All of them were stuck in a black. Some. Oh, some of them were stuck in a black sticky tar, sticky, sticky. Um, liquid. Liquid. Tar, yeah. Tar. Okay, so now it's tar. Okay. Uh, so, do you have the name for the substance or no? Um. No, it didn't. The people who made it didn't really name it 
Then it's called maybe Sabretooth Tiger Killer Liquid. I guess. Okay. And it was black. Yes. And what color were the Sabretooth Tigers? Uh, brown and black and white. Brown and black and white. Okay, so so multi, m many colors. Yes. Okay, so it wasn't, um, it wasn't, <laughs> they weren't being um, discriminative on, on, on the uh, tigers based on color. No. It was all inclusive. All, all saber tooth tigers. Uh, they wanted to kill them. They wanted to kill them all. Okay. Because the saber tooth tigers, well, they were eat, destroying all of the little animals that could have had been in the zoo to see. Yeah, in the zoo? The zoo a thousand years ago? Yeah. No. Oh. If they were still living. Oh, so they, they didn't have zoos back then? No. Okay. Um, so if they're still living, the little the little animals would still be in the zoo? Yes. Right. Okay. A thousand but years. since they're dead... For, from a thousand years ago? Yes. Okay. Then they can't be. And, and I'm assuming that the Sabre Tigers, if they were alive, they'd be in zoos too, right? Uh... Probably not. They would probably be in like, well, yes, in the zoo, but mostly at the circus. Oh, so two tigers so, in the circus. Probably because people would probably want to train them, and someone would go in the zoo and the, yeah. Well, I see that. You, you see uh, tigers and lions and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. In the, zoo, in the uh, circus, um, all kinds of other animals too. Um, so why not a saber tooth tiger? I mean, it just makes sense, right? Yeah. Can you give us a name for this black, sticky liquid that killed the saber tooth tigers, all of them? What I would call it would be black, sticky, tall, bubbly, and so sticky that the saber tooth tigers didn't know it was there. It was blending in with the ground, and then they walked in it. So the ground was black too. Yes. Okay. Kind of. Okay. And then once the saber tooth tigers went to jump on the prey, it got stuck right before it, right before it could take another step. Well, that's that's ingenious. Who who came up with this plan? We we don't know. Okay. Uh, and the um, anyone anyone doesn't know. No, anyone could have. Oh, anyone could have. So, anyone meaning humans? Yes. So, humans set, put the black sea guitar yes. down. Yes, scientists. Scientists put the black sea guitar down for the saber tooth tigers to, to capture them before they were able to jump on their prey. Yes. Okay. But evidently, the prey also got stuck in the tar. Oh, so the prey died too? Yes. So, it wasn't really a good experiment if the prey and the saber tooth tiger died as well, right? Yes. But oh. they did not know that. Oh, well, you know. You win some, you lose some. Was this video in color? Yes. The video was in color. And do you believe the, vali the validity? Do you know what validity is? No. The validity of the show would have been how accurate it is. Okay. Do you believe in the validity of this uh, show, this movie, this um, informative documentary? I believe it's real. You, so you believe it's real. So you, you believe it's factual. Yes. And it's in color. Yes. And it's showing real saber tooth tigers or showing... Real ones. Real ones as, as in, like, if I take a camera and go film one. Yes and no. Yes and no? Okay, explain the yes and no. So they, like, we're, for our whole class, we're just guessing that maybe they had a camera and when we, when they... Saber tooth tigers died. Maybe they like scan the saber tooth tiger's bones all together, scanned it, made it all the way into the real one, and then it showed the real actor saber thing. So okay, so the the bones that were found, yes, uh, were scanned somehow with modern scientists. Yes. To show a video of what actually happened at the time they died. Yes. And then they made a big box of movie. Uh, so then the scientists made a big movie box of all the captured footage. And then uh, your your and school then bought it. A few movies after a, a few years after that, they put it in a disc and they had discs. And then um well my friend Luke, he brought in the movie. 
and wanted to share it. It was actual footage. Uh, okay. Um, so it wasn't made up on a computer. Uh, you ever heard of CGI? No. Uh, it stands for computer graphics imagery or something like that. Where it's actually digitally created, kind of like in Photoshop. Um, okay. into um, a movie. Okay. And they can do animation. You ever heard of cartoons? Yeah. So cartoons are, are made like this as well. The cur cur cartoons are animations from people that made them. Yes, they're drawings. And uh, back in the day, people actually used to draw them and then uh, they put them on the screen and animate a lot of them together yeah. and that's how you get a moving picture. Now they're done primarily on a computer um, and animated that way. And they look very lifelike. But that's not what this was. No. No, okay. Um, well, I, I think I think we've run out of time, Alex. I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, I hear it's getting um, close to your bedtime. Uh, so, in order uh, to make everybody happy and, and well rested, we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye for now. And I appreciate uh, appreciate you uh, you know, staying staying up for uh, for this show. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Can you give me a big smile? And there you have it. Uh, that was Mr. Alex um, uh, talking about dinosaurs and and um, saber tooth tigers. Well, here he is right now, Alex. I appreciate it once again for you coming on the show. I uh, hope you had a good time. We definitely had a great time learning about dinosaurs and uh, and saber tooth tigers and um, fossils and black sticky tar. Um, it's black sticky liquid, do you call? The, the saber tooth tiger killer. And I just want to inform you, this was not scripted. This is right out of his um, brain, full of knowledge. Good job, Alex. I go to bed. Say bye. 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 Stop saying thank you. <laughs> Do it again. If you like what you saw today, please push subscribe to see more.